just got Rekordbox but you want to link your SoundCloud so you can start streaming some music onto it, then don't worry. Today I'm going to show you how to do that in Rekordbox itself. Hi, I'm Dan from Beatmatch Guru. Let's dive right into the tutorial. In order to connect SoundCloud Go to your Rekordbox, you need to get a SoundCloud Go Plus account. So I've signed up, which is why it says current plan here. And per month it costs £9.99 a month. So what you get with that is these benefits here. I think the main benefit that they're trying to state is that when a track has Go Plus next to it, it means it's not a preview. But from my experience is that you'll find a lot of previews in, in SoundCloud when you're adding tracks. So in some cases you might need to buy them. But we'll get on the pros and cons shortly. In order to set up SoundCloud's Go to the record box itself, what you'll see is on the left hand side here you have these drop downs and all you'll need to do is click on here as if you haven't logged in already you need to click in log in, log in button, type in your login username and password and that will connect you automatically. What's important to know is that when you sign in you'll find that the playlist will show here and unfortunately you don't have control in Rekordbox itself as to which tracks you can uh, add or delete. So what you have to do is, is go into SoundCloud itself on the app on your phone or onto the web browser is to create playlists in there and then what that will do is it will pull those playlists into Rekordbox. It's actually a bit of a niggling problem that I find and it's a bit of an annoying thing really because I, if you like creating and curating DJ set lists or playlists specifically for record box, then it is, that's a bit of a downside. And I don't know if that will change in the future from the, this integration, so we'll find out in the future. So, for example, I've created this playlist here. This is Melodic House. I've created all of the audio track. I've created the playlist here, as you can see. As, as I mentioned earlier, some tracks show Go, uh, Go Plus, some tracks don't. It just seems the way, way it is. And what you'll find is, is some tracks here, so this uh, Adana Twins Robosonic and Adana Twins uh, Lafique track, it, it's, it says preview there. So not all of the tracks are the full track which is what I mentioned earlier, which is a downside. So once you've created your playlist in here and named it, you should be able to find it here. So Melodic Chill House, and you see all the tracks pop up here. So once you want to drag and drop a track, say Armin van Helden, all you have to do is drag and drop into one of the tracks. That's switched over to the other side. <laughs> but you can see that it's on, on this track here, it's loaded. What you'll see is that, see that bar there, is that shows me that the bar is taking some time. And that is a downside to using SoundCloud integration. It does take a while to preview the track because it's actually just downloading the preview from the internet. Uh, and sometimes if it's a completely new track that you've not used before, it will be figuring out the BPM and other information like that quite slowly. And, it, and also if, if you've, used it before then it will be loading the saved cue points there which is actually and the memory uh, memory cues which is quite handy to know actually so that's a benefit is that it will save the the cue points for you but the the downside is that it loads quite slowly lastly the the other thing to note is that if you don't have an internet connection and you're trying to dj out somewhere say in a club or uh, uh, in the garden at a party for example you'll definitely need the internet to use this. So that's uh, another sort of compromise that you're willing to take. Now, the upside to this is that you can certainly pick out different tracks that you like DJing with before you buy, try before you buy sort of thing. And then if you like the tracks, then you can certainly download them from a, a different source, uh, such as Beatport or iTunes. Some people download them from Amazon even. So you can do that and build your playlists and have more control over your playlist that you curate up here on the left hand side. The final thing is a tip that I'd like to bring to the table for you guys to benefit from and that is a website called Soundease. 
sounds quite funny, but is actually really helpful if you're if you're a fan of Spotify and you've created a lot of playlists, then what you'll notice is that you you can't actually use Spotify in Recordbox yet. But because you've got this integration with SoundCloud, you can use Soundis to convert your information from Spotify over to SoundCloud. So all you have to do is sign up to Soundies <laughs> and then just transfer all the playlists that you want over to from Spotify to SoundCloud. And then what you'll, sit, you'll, what you'll find out is, is in your library is you'll, you'll find all of your different playlists from your Spotify in there. And then once you've done that, just click on refresh here or reload and then it should pop up in your playlists so that's it enjoy using soundcloud it is great to get into using new tracks that you've not dj'd before with i have a lot of fun with it it's great from djing from home if that's your thing and you don't necessarily want to dj out as much but if you do need to dj out and use soundcloud then you definitely need the internet remember that but if you want to go independent of SoundCloud and just use it as more of a research tool, then download the tracks or get a, get a subscription to a record pool and then you can download all of the tracks from there. So hopefully you now know how to set up SoundCloud and use SoundCloud Music in Racklebox to DJ with. Please sign up to the channel and like the video. It'll really help me out. Enjoy and I'll see you next time.